ports like these are New Zealand's gateway to the world. So too are our international airports. But in welcoming thousands of visitors and tons of freight every year, we're also encouraging potential threats to our biosecurity and biodiversity. Much of the science underpinning this vital protection is undertaken in the Allen Herbarium at Landcare Research. It contains one of the largest collections of plant specimens collected from New Zealand and the South Pacific. All up, almost 600,000 specimens representing more than 250 plant families. And from our earliest explorers. Even specimens from the first journey of Captain James Cook almost 250 years ago are carefully preserved. The Allen Herbarium is a nationally and internationally significant collection of preserved, mainly pressed plant specimens. For herbarium, it's associated plant information systems, for plant systematics research, as well as for plant identification and information service, is New Zealand's largest and most significant botanical resource. Biosystematics research underpins New Zealand's biodiversity and biosecurity management, as well as a range of other activities. These include farming, forestry, forensics and the identification of poisonous plants. For example, uh, MEF Biosecurity New Zealand sends us regularly fragments they found in imported cars. So for example, we, we are then identifying for seeds and plant fragments they found in the cavities of these imported cars. Another example is um, how our research underpins biosecurity for example, for names um, are underpinning for New Zealand plant pest accord. Passion fruit, that is a dangerous weed in New Zealand. Some of the research we have done has worked out that the species we thought that are in New Zealand are actually quite different species. So we could correct the entrance into the New Zealand plant pest accord. Therefore, biocontrol can be undertaken in a different way and also eventually money saved in the control of this dangerous weed. This vast resource combined with the highly skilled staff make all that possible. For plant systematists uh, discover, describe plants, they examine their characters, their biology, their distribution, they investigate how the plants, how the plant species has, have evolved, and they examine the phylogenetic relationships of the plants and then finally classify them. Of course, we have several scientists working on the collection, curating it, keeping it up to date, keeping up with names. Um, names and taxonomy changes quite frequently, especially these days with the molecular techniques. So we are busy uh, um, updating our plants on a daily basis and we are quite um, lucky to have people uh, specializing in different plant groups like the mosses, the liverworts or hepatics. The collection of plants and the remarkable information they contain are a legacy of decades of commitment from botanists and botanical institutions to document the flora of New Zealand and the Pacific. That work continues today. The, the herbarium is a very valuable collection for doing biosecurity and biodiversity research and in terms of the biodiversity research that we've done around here I was working on a small group of uh, native Illyrias um, in, in the early 2000s and I was um, going through the collection looking at the natural variation in a widespread and common species and I realised that there were some plants from the Canterbury Plains that were not matching the widespread common species in terms of their characters and these plants from the Canterbury Plains had been called the species Illyria virgata previously. So subsequent to recognising these plants in the herbarium were a little bit unusual. We did some field work in behind the airport where some of the collections had been made from and also down in the Rakai River. And it turned out that we had recognised in the herbarium a new unnamed species of Illyria that's critically endangered. The work undertaken out here pays off back here at the front line of New Zealand's border protection efforts. Biosecurity officers from a range of departments and agencies are just some of the hundreds of people every year who use this facility.
Some people ask for the actual specimen and we send them out on loan, the, the real sheets. Other people are just interested in um, data from our specimens. Then we record the label information and can give valuable information about distribution, for example, early records, uh, when plants have been first collected in certain areas. But visiting the herbarium isn't always required. If they want to see, have a brief look, we can digitize the Banoise sheet and send them a JPEG image via the computer, which is quick and easy, but sometimes not enough for a closer assessment. The Allen Herbarium is part of the international network of herbaria, which share collection information and operate interline facilities for physical specimens. Databasing these specimens is a crucial step in enabling the international network to access specimen data. This includes the ability to package and send. It's very important for some characters to be assessed that you need the physical specimen or not just the image. Some characters are simply not visible on an image. Just think about minute hairs on leaves or even the leaf arrangement can be only assessed looking at specimens. It's a plant called Cadamony, sort of F. corymbosa. It's in a, quite a difficult taxonomic group to study. Collection in the field is just the first small step. Specimens are then expertly prepared, dried, frozen and then mounted. Care and attention to detail are paramount. Researchers here are passionate. New Zealand is becoming increasingly dependent on our biological resources for our well-being. The information in these secure facilities and the research undertaken here underpins key elements of our environment and our economy.